welcome to yet another video of Innovia Tips and Tricks. Most often, while working with big or complex product structure, you may feel lost. You'd wonder, how can I redrive the list of products that I'm looking for? For example, you may be looking for a certain set of products that belong to certain product configuration, that has certain attribute values, that is developed by a certain person, or that belong to a certain maturity state. Well, we've got you covered. With the advanced filtering capabilities, you can seamlessly filter your product structure based on attribute, configuration, unit, or a volume filter. Today, we'll see how you can create such advanced filter, save it in the 3D experience platform, update its maturity state so that it can be used by your teammates, and how your teammates can reuse the same filter to save their time. So without a further ado, let's take a look at this video. Let's say you've got this big and complex product structure. And to begin with, what you're looking for is to find out a list of products that do not have declared weight. To do that, you can use an attribute filter in the advanced filter section and remove all the physical products that have their weight declared. Once this is set up, you can click on apply so that entire tree is filtered to show you the required list of physical products. But hang on, what you're really looking for is not only the list of products that do not have a declared weight, but they must also be in the frozen maturity state. Now, to achieve this, you can add another filter on top of existing filter and set it up such that you can only see frozen physical product that do not have a declared weight. Once this new filter is created, you can couple it with the existing filter by setting up option as all. What it means is both the filter are activated. Now what you see is a list of physical product that are frozen but still do not have their weight declared. You can save this advanced filter in the 3D experience platform by clicking the save option. You can give it a suitable title and also add in description so that other people can easily recognize it. But this is not enough. It is important that you set its maturity state to invert so that all the other user in the collaborative space can reuse it. Once its maturity state is set to invert, your teammates in the same collaborative space can reuse the same advanced filter to save their time. So you can see Scott, who is just Sarah's colleague, reusing the same filter and applying it. And all he gets is a list of physical products that do not have their weight declared and yet frozen.